Hi, in this playlist, we will briefly introduce nuclear physics, its application and the main examples where you can encounter it in everyday life. This video will then be followed by other educational videos. Please, give us a few minutes of your attention. Nuclear physics is the field of physics that studies the constituents of atomic nuclei and interactions of atomic nuclei. Their formation, stability, and decay. The scale is very important. The term nuclear deals with femtometers. The atom itself is already extremely small. To give you a better idea, there are more atoms in a single grain of sand than grains of sand on Earth. That's how small an atom is. The atomic nucleus is many times smaller than the atom itself. The atomic nucleus is so small compared to the atom itself that it must be magnified many times in all illustrations. Nuclear physics aims to understand the fundamental nuclear forces in nature, their symmetries, and the resulting complex interactions between protons and neutrons in nuclei and among quarks inside hadrons, including the proton. This image shows a beryllium atom. Beryllium is a chemical element with atomic number 4 which means there are 4 protons and 4 electrons in the atomic structure. Its nucleus contains 5 neutrons. Within the nucleus, protons and neutrons are bound together through a residual strong force. Protons and neutrons also have their structure. Inside the protons and neutrons, we find true elementary particles called quarks. The proton is composed of two up quarks and one down quark. Within the nucleon, quarks are bound together through a strong force. Modern nuclear physics also contains experimental particle physics, which is taught in close association with nuclear physics. High-energy physics explores what the world is made of and how it works at the smallest and largest scales, seeking new discoveries from the tiniest particles to the outer reaches of space. Nuclear astrophysics is another branch of nuclear physics. It is crucial in explaining the inner workings of stars and the origin of the chemical elements. This periodical table of elements shows that different chemical elements have a different origin. Some were created during star collapse, some during the merging of two neutron stars, and some have been here since the Big Bang. Nuclear physics should not be confused with atomic physics, which studies the atom as a whole, including its electrons. But what is the atomic nucleus, which determines the word nuclear? In comparison to an atom, an atomic nucleus is much smaller and contains most of the mass of the atom. The atomic nucleus also contains all of its positive electric charge, while its negative charge is distributed in the electron cloud. You can see it in this illustration. The atomic nucleus is represented by the tiny point in the middle of the electron cloud. The nucleus itself is generally made of protons and neutrons, but even these are composite objects. Inside the protons and neutrons, we find the quarks. Inside the atomic nucleus, the residual strong force also known as the nuclear force holds neutrons and protons together. In nuclei, this force acts against the enormous repulsive electromagnetic force of the protons. The term residual is associated with the fact that it is the residuum of the strong fundamental interaction between the quarks that make up the protons and neutrons. The most commonly known application of nuclear physics is nuclear power generation. Nuclear power can be obtained from nuclear fission, nuclear decay, and nuclear fusion reactions. Presently, the vast majority of electricity from nuclear power is produced by nuclear fission of uranium and plutonium in nuclear power plants. Generating electricity from fusion power remains the focus of international research. Several experimental nuclear fusion reactors and facilities exist. The largest and most ambitious international nuclear fusion project currently in progress is a large tokamak under construction in France. Another very important application of nuclear physics is nuclear medicine. Over the past few decades, new nuclear imaging technologies have enhanced the effectiveness of healthcare and enabled physicians to diagnose different types of cancers, cardiovascular diseases, and neurological disorders in their early stages. The most important modern advances in nuclear imaging are positron emission tomography and single photon emission computed tomography.
Magnetic resonance imaging was originally called a nuclear magnetic resonance imaging, but nuclear was dropped to avoid negative associations. Nuclear magnetic resonance is a physical phenomenon in which nuclei in a strong constant magnetic field are perturbed by a weak oscillating magnetic field and respond by producing an electromagnetic signal with a frequency characteristic of the magnetic field at the nucleus. Magnetic resonance imaging is widely used in hospitals and clinics for medical diagnosis, staging, and follow-up of disease. Compared to CT scan, magnetic resonance imaging provides better contrast in images of soft tissues such as in the brain or abdomen. Nuclear physics is ubiquitous in our lives. Detecting smoke in our homes, testing for and treating cancer, and monitoring cargo for contraband are just some of the ways that nuclear physics and the techniques it has spawned make a difference in our safety, health, and security. Many of today's most important advancements in medicine, materials, energy, security, climatology, and dozens of other sciences emanate from the wellspring of basic research and development in nuclear physics. Nuclear physics follows many conservation laws and has its own tables of elements. We will clarify and explain physics to you in the next videos. That's all, thank you for your attention. If you want to know more, visit nuclearpower.com, and don't forget to subscribe. We are preparing more videos like this, so don't miss them.